Right, meeting. Okay, um, starting soon. Where is it? Okay, uh, doing here. Okay, an agenda. Uh, things to do. Okay, where's the where's the meeting notes? Um, no attached documents. Ah! Hello, it's Daryl as a service again. Uh, we're still setting up our team for optimal teamwork, uh, building it for the best teamwork experience. And in this session, what I'm wanting to cover off is how to add a meeting notes to your general channel in your Microsoft team. I say in your general channel because you want to be able to try and get everyone onto the same page. And it's, it's hard enough to try and keep people there, let alone get them there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our meeting notes uh, and a place for those meeting notes right where we can find them in the general channel. In fact, that's where I suggest that we have our stand-ups as well if you're a reasonable sized team or sort of small to medium team. So we'll make it easier to find that notebook. Some of the scenarios we're gonna cover off here is that every team needs to have somewhere to make their notes and to share their notes, right? I mean, I do. I wanna make it easy for me to just quickly share those ideas, sketch them all up, um, capture information, maybe even do a bit of whiteboarding, a bit of inking, because sometimes I need to illustrate to be able to get my points across. Don't know about you, but I love to have a, a whiteboard pen in my hand if I can. Can't do that virtually. So we're going to try and pin a OneNote notebook um, as a tab into our general channel. So every team that comes with a notebook, we'll see where that notebook is. It's a, a good place to store that information centrally for other team members to access. Um, we can share content easily on those pages um, and we can you know, gather bits and pieces together. So you will see this soon. Now, suggested actions. Um, add this OneNote tab to the general channel. Um, we're going to uh, open the, the, uh, the tab up or rather the app up and you'll see that the team notebook is right at the top of the list and we're gonna create a section called meetings. Um, now, the other action, once you've got that notebook set up and you've got a section for meetings, then um, before every meeting, how about you just create a page, give it a date, maybe even insert the meeting details, uh, copy a link to that page and drop it in the meeting invite. So we'll have a look at this in action. All right, we have got the calendar that failed us, only because the details weren't in there, but that's all right. Um, let's go back to our general channel, uh, our, our Microsoft team, new team. Here's our general channel. We're still building that up. We had created an about page last time, and this time we're going to add a OneNote notebook uh, to it as a tab. Now you see my attempts earlier when I was uh, practicing. So let's go through it together. Uh, where is this notebook? Well, we don't have to find it right now. It's actually gonna be right there for us when we add our tab. Click on add tab, click on OneNote, and right at the top of the list of all the notebooks that I have access to, um, is my team notebook. That's the key thing really. This is my list of notebooks that I have access to. And I wanna be able to make sure that when I'm sharing notes with my team and I'm pinning that notebook, that it is the notebook everyone can get to. So this is our default notebook in our team. If we expand that, uh, we will, if it's a brand new notebook, there's not gonna be any sections there. So you can create a new section and call it meetings. I've created one called meetings and there's another one called ideas. So we'll choose meetings, click save. And ba ba da ba ba da ba. There we go. We've got a meetings tab there. Now, don't worry too much about this red line. We're currently, while we're recording this, we're in Coronavirusville, um, and there's been a few things that they've had to dial back in terms of the service. So at the moment, I can't edit this notebook within Teams, but I'll show you where we can soon. Here's our tab: meetings, and we just want to probably rename that uh, to probably meeting notes because we just wanna make it obvious that when people come into the general channel, you can say, hey, blah, 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 we've just had that meeting, meeting notes are up there in the tab if you wanna check with them. You'll also see as I expand that notebook that I've got a few examples of other meetings there too, and we've created a page there for April 1st, which is tomorrow's standup. Um, let's go through and book that meeting. We're gonna do it in Teams very quickly too, and we might do a deep dive on this in another episode. Here's April 1st, probably gonna have our stand up here at nine o'clock. All right, uh, we'll leave the required attendees off because um, 
because the meeting is available in the team, it's going to be available for everyone to attend right there. We're going to find our team in the add a channel box. Here's modern workplace team. And we'll hold the meeting in the channel. And you saw here earlier, <laughs> I had copied and pasted some text in there. So it's good to actually have um, the rough agenda within the body of the message because when people are trying to quickly prepare for that meeting in between meetings, maybe they've got about 10, 15 minutes, sometimes they're already running late. They want to go in here and have a look and see what are we actually talking about. But we're going to go one better. Now that we've got a page for the meeting notes, we're going to grab a link from that page. So I'm back in here into the notebook. Copy the link to this page, uh, which you can do within Teams, by the way. We, we'll um, show you that a bit later too. Uh, so we've got that link, and we'll drop that in there. And you've got two links. You've got one that's going to open up the notebook on your desktop uh, in the app that you have on, on your device, and one that will open up in the web browser. There are two options there for getting to the notes. Cool thing is that when we send this off now, um, that means that within the invite that everyone can get to, uh, there's no excuse. I've guided you right through to the meeting notes, and maybe rather than having all the detail in the body of the message, um, then I can actually fill this out a bit. So we'll uh, what else we do? Go in here and see if we can insert meeting details. There we go. Meeting details. Now, if you haven't done this before, um, you can link your account through to. There we go. And this means that OneNote is able to get in there to your uh, mailbox and check to see what are those uh, meetings that you currently have. All right, seems to be taking a little while, but we can show you with another experience a bit later. Um, so that will um, allow you and send insert the meeting details a bit like this one right here where it, it, it'll insert the body of the the meeting it'll insert the attendees and participants maybe the link there for that meeting so we've got our meeting we've got the invite um, and back over here what does that meeting look like when we've said that we're going to hold it within the general channel there it is we've got um, the body of the message we've got the meeting itself um, and and see there too the link through to the page that we're going to be taking our meeting notes so the idea here is that we'll do that together uh, and maybe before the meeting you can go and you can see a bit more of the content some resources to read uh, various tasks that you might need to do to prepare for the meeting all sorts of good stuff like that right well that is about it um, thanks for tuning in um, you can see how it's really important to try and get everyone on the same page from the beginning you know, if you can include this in your meeting invite, then you're already winning. And that's just one use for one note. We'll get around to another couple of uses uh, in another time. Um, look, thanks for tuning in. If you are keen on some more of this kind of stuff, we are building out the journey of uh, building teams for teamwork. So that's where to find me. I'm uh, creating this content on YouTube. And I hope that you can continue to follow along the journey. Catch you again soon.